the average square footage on Main Street in Placerville, you're looking anywhere from 94 cents a square foot to $1.74 a square foot. That's for county buildings um, or, or where we have county um, offices. This building in particular is 3,840 square feet. So your monthly rent based upon those numbers and again, taking all the assumptions that it, it's 3,840 square feet. So you're looking at somewhere between $3,609 per month and $6,681.60 per month. Somewhere in there, there are assumptions built into that that I'll be happy to discuss with you. Um, we don't I, need to vet them all right now. I feel comfortable putting 50000 a year. Up How much? 50000 a year. You know, that is I, a crummy, drafty old building. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, I'm well, sorry, Mr. Chikotsky's numbers are wrong because the, the numbers are, that is a crummy, not all parts of that building are useful. It's a crummy, drafty old building. Who's been, Mike, you've been in the building. Would you say it's state of the art, nice office space? Been in there. Well, no. I mean, <laughs> no, hang on, hang on, hang on. So I'm, well, I'm, including the closed okay, closet. Okay. Speaking to that point, um, <laughs> these are some of the assumptions I was talking about. Right. But to address that, yeah, I, I would I, say I, the, the public defender's office, the building we have them in right now, I would not call that state of the art either. Right. But, but I, I agree with what you said. The chamber building has issues. And that, that, those are some of the things that I wanted to discuss with you. So are you recommending that we don't charge them rent? Or what are you I, I recommend saying? you take no action. Maybe we can right. talk about it at the it's final here. budget. But I mean, to list. rent a building mm -hmm. out like that has its own legal. Let's say the chamber leaves. There's other exposure renting a crummy old drafty building out to I, landlords. I agree with the auditor. And so, so can we not, move some we of can, our staff? But to it's a zero sum game right now. Whether it's occupied or not occupied, right. there's it's a zero sum game to us. Right. And the neighbor. Okay. Oh, excuse I'm me. One dollar. The chamber. Yeah. There are partners and there are neighbors and there are friends. Now we. I charge my friends when I take them out to dinner when the check comes. So I, I'm not saying we shouldn't take a look at this. Yeah. I'm saying we don't have enough information now, but that is a crummy, drafty old building, which... And okay, we got that. We heard it. When you rent oh. out crummy, drafty old buildings, people get yeah. claim they get sick in the building. People, yeah. there's, a, there's all kinds of problems trying to get fair market rent for a building like that. So but, my, my, my thought was... I'm at the low end of the scale, 42000 a year. To take that 42000 a year, stick it right into our economic development at the county, for our economic development manager. It, it's, it, we're not even taking anything from it. It's going into the same, the same bucket, economic development. So that was just my thought. No, and, and, and I appreciate that thought. I think the point that the auditor is making and, and the point I agree with is one of the assumptions you are making is that you could lease that building <laughs> at fair market value. Right. That's why I prefaced my comment with, I can give you numbers We about could fair market put value. the public defender in there yes. if we fix it up. I, who? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stand by. <laughs> so, the uh, county council wants to say something. I, I would just I'm assuming it's um, legal. seek from the board a policy review, maybe brought to you yeah. re a, a return from facilities for the policy on leasing buildings. Yeah. We, we should be looking at the landlords. We should be looking at retail. We should be looking at leasing versus eventual purchasing. Uh, we should be looking at consolidation where those efficiencies can be gained. I know the sheriff is fractured because their, their departments are not in similar locations. This I would put in something that the board could direct staff to return to you with more data in order to analyze, analyze the process of leasing and what those efficiencies might be. Well, but that's, that, 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 that's an overarching policy. What we're talking about right here is that we're, 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 we're trying to find some revenue on the right side of the column. And, and I think that, 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 There's still a that charging a modest amount of rent to put back in the economic development is, is, isn't something that would require a study from facilities countywide for everything we do. So I appreciate what you're saying, but I think that, that, that in terms of this one line item here, we're looking at one building with one lease. I, I don't think we need to rebuild the whole car to figure out if we're going to change the carburetor. For this, for this, yeah, for this budget is. cycle, 
can I say this lease is in effect until August of 2017. Okay, there you go. Thank you. I wish you to set up in the front. Thank you. <laughs> That's the quickest way to. All right, settles that. Yeah. Well, can, can you repeat that? Supervisor can, can, can you repeat that? The lease is the lease, the lease term is through August 2017. For a zero dollar. For a dollar a year. Dollar a year. So I just want to highlight that that's the gift of front. public fund. I would appreciate that. An entity. And I guess we can't do anything until 2017. That's right. I think okay. the premise on that was that it was economic, economic development. Our chambers are a big arm of our economic development. So it's not like it's a gift. We're using that as part of our responsibility or, or, or part of our strategic plan is to have economic development. And I think that's a critical part of it. Now, how we maintain that and go forward with that, I think we should be having that conversation with our new economic development manager and, and, and have a conversation with our county council and see if that's the best use of our non-funds. I don't know if this is time to bring it up, but a reoccurring problem is the chamber's involvement in local elections, I, passing I out MNO things okay, so at the counter yeah, there. So, I mean, sure that's so team public for, track. All right. The next I, one's I, a real doozy. I, Hang on. I have one more comment. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It Chief is what it is. Oh. So chamber is our partner. We have other chambers in a lot of county that we are not funding their lease and their location. So we have a building there. We don't have a building there? We don't have a building that's suitable in El Dorado Hills. Right. If we did and it was vacant and we had no use for it, I'm sure we'd give it to them for a buck a year because they're our partners. Okay, let's move on. Please. Let's, move on. let's move on. I think this is a discussionary item that can be cleaned up, can be looked at, yep. and we can identify for costs and so forth so it doesn't appear to be a gift of public funds. I agree. How Fine. things are being done. Let's go to the next pleasantry. And I, Supervisor Rinaldi. You know, I, just, I just wanted to conclude. Uh, you know, it doesn't sound like we have enough information to make this determination today. I know the question about whether it, whether it was a gift to public. Um, it has been asked and answered so many times. Um, and, you know, let's get the information. Let's keep it on the list. Keep it at zero. And let's decide whether or not we want to make some policy adjustments. Um, and we have sufficient time. The lease isn't up until... 2017. And absent uh, any uh, appetite to charge them $741,316 a year, I think we should move on. 